Hi people, in this short video I want to explain you how we can use isometric drafting in AutoCAD, this button at the status bar. In this example, we are going to draw this simple cube which is represented as an isometric projection. So let's start. If we want to draw an object in 2D but as an isometric projection, there are three different planes that we can work on, the left, right and top. And before starting, let's switch on the grid. And you can notice when I turn on the isometric drafting for the left plane, the cursor and the grid are automatically readjusted. And the same happens with the snap mode, you can see I'm snapping in all the intersections of the grid. And the ortho mode. As you can see, the horizontal direction is following the grid. However, the polar tracking doesn't work for isometric drafting, and that means you should be in the ortho mode to use this technique properly. OK, let's make the cube. I start with the left plane. And this time I'm going to switch on both the grid and the snap modes, even they are not required, to help you visualizing the drawing process. I'm going to start in a major intersection and then make the edges, each of them measuring 200 millimeters. So, when I'm done with this face, I change the plane to right and you can see how easily it's now to draw the right side. This time I switch off the snap mode because I don't need it anymore. And finally, I turn on the top plane to draw the remaining edges. Now you can start practicing ISO drafting in your projects. Okay, that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to Cat in Black to watch the full list of tutorials for beginners in Revit. There are also AutoCAD tutorials if you are interested. So see you next time!